friends welcome to my youtube channel in the previous video we have seen the definition of limit of a function and some introduction if you have any doubt with this you can go with the link the link is given in the description box in this video we will see some of the examples of limit of a function uh, before going to the definition of uh, before going to the actual uh, examples let us see some of the definitions as we have seen these definitions in the previous now let us see in detail here. First one is one sided limits. One sided limits. One sided means either left side limit or right side limit. Limit of f of x as x tends to a plus and limit of f of x as x tends to a minus. If these limit exist, they are called one sided limit. This is called left side limit, left hand limit. This is called right side limit or right hand limit. Let us go with the next definition, left hand limit. Left hand limit means what? As we know that the definition of limit, we know that the definition of limit in the previous lecture that if given epsilon greater than 0, there exists delta greater than 0 such that mod of f of x minus l less than epsilon for in this definition we have mod of x minus l less than delta means x lies between a minus delta to a plus delta that we have seen in the previous lecture that here a is here then what a minus delta obviously it lies left side of a a plus delta lies right side of a Therefore, whenever we say that limit of function as x tends to a is n, means for every value of x which taking from a minus delta to a plus delta, x is a variable, x taking the values from this to this. Then this condition must hold. Mod of x minus a less than delta implies mod of f of x minus l less than epsilon. As we are considering here left hand limit, so consider the values of x which are less than a, means x must lies from a minus delta to a therefore for all for all x for all x which lies x strictly lies between a minus delta to a getting why we are considering the values which lies from a minus delta to a because we are considering left hand limit means Values of values of x which are less than a. Therefore, this x lies between a minus delta to a. Similar definition, right hand limit. What is the definition of right hand limit? Same definition. Given epsilon greater than zero, there exists delta greater than zero such that mod of f of x minus l less than epsilon. What is simply changed? We are taking the values of x which are which lies greater than a. Therefore, all the referring same, all are the same. It's given epsilon greater than zero and so on. There exists delta greater than zero such that mod of f of x minus l less than epsilon for all x which lies. What is where x lies here? As we are considering right hand limit. Means we are taking all the values of x which lies greater than a. Means which are greater than a. Means what is the values of x which are greater than a? x. What is the range of x which is strictly lies between a to a plus delta. Okay. Getting. Now this we can write symbolically as. This left hand line right we can write symbolically as limit of f of x as x tends to a minus and this we can write symbolically as limit of f of x as x tends to a plus is equals to l. Left hand limit is l. l is the limit of a function from left hand limit. L, here l is the right hand limit for this function f of x. Now when we say that limit of a function exists. Next one is. Existence of 
लिमिट ऑफ अ फंक्शन एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ लिमिट ऑफ अ फंक्शन वेन वी से दैट लिमिट ऑफ फंक्शन एक्सिस्ट इफ लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट वट इज लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट लिमिट ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स एक्सटेंड्स टू ए माइनस इज इक्वल टू राइट हैंड लिमिट वट इज राइट हैंड लिमिट लिमिट ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स एक्सटेंड्स टू ए प्लस इज इक्वल टू एल इफ बोथ लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट एंड राइट हैंड लिमिट आर इक्वल टू ए सेम वैल्यू देन वी से दैट लिमिट ऑफ फंक्शन एक्सिस्ट एंड वेन वी से दैट लिमिट ऑफ फंक्शन डज नॉट एक्सिस्ट मीन्स left hand limit must be not equals to the right hand limit at that time we say that limit of a function does not exist okay now let us go with some examples related to this limit of function find out left hand limit right hand limit or uh, find out epsilon delta let us go with some examples so that it will be more clear for you first example Find left hand limit find left hand limit and right hand limit of the following function f of x is given following f of x is given like this when x is strictly less than 1 and when x is greater than or equal by 1 when x is strictly less than 1 f of x is defined like this x plus 1 and when x is greater than or equal by 1 f of x is like this 7x square minus 3 this is my real line this is my 1 Zero, one, two, three, minus one. Okay. When x is strictly less than one, means whenever x taking the values which are less than one, one is not included here. Open interval one. Then my function f of x is three x plus one. Means it has some value every time when x is less than one. Function defined three x plus one. And when x is greater equal by one, means x taking the value from one and onwards. Sorry. X taking the values from one, including one, and so on, each and every point on the real line, then the function is defined like this: seven x square minus three. Now, see only the point at x equals to one. From we have to check the limit of a function because at all the remaining points, no problem. Function is well defined. Simply we have to check the left hand limit, right hand limit at x equals to one only. Let us go with the solution. Find out left hand limit. Left hand limit we are finding when x is strictly less than one. What is our definition of left hand limit? Limit of f of x that extends to one minus one minus means we are taking the values of x which are less than one. Therefore, limit x extends to one minus. What is my f of x? When x is less than one, function is like this: three x plus one. Now substitute x equals to one here. Three into one, four. Similarly, find out right hand limit. What is right hand limit? We are taking values of x which are greater than one. Limit. Limit of f of x at x tends to one plus, which is equals to limit x tends to one plus. What is f of x? One plus means values of x which are taking greater than one. And when x is greater than one, the function is like this: seven x square minus three. Substitute here. We obtain substitute x equals to one here. Seven minus three. It is four. Okay, and also we can check the value of function at x equals to one. At x equals to one, this is my first part. This is my second part. This is my third part. At x equals to one, what is my f of x? What is function f of x? I, I, observe this side. X, when x equals to one, 
function is like this. Means x is one x equals to one, including here we have ten f of x as seven x square minus three. Therefore, what we have ten f of one substitute x equals to one we have ten seven into one square minus three. That is four. Therefore, observe these all three values. Left hand limit is equals to right hand limit, which is equals to the actual value of the function at x equals to one. Therefore, we can write it as limit of f of x as x tends to one minus means left hand limit, which is equals to limit of f of x as x tends to one plus, which is equals to right hand limit, which is equals to what we what the value we obtain? It is four as both the values are same. Therefore, we say that limit of a function exists at x tends to one. And what is the value of that function as x tends to one? It is four. That is, we can say that four is the limiting value of the function. This function as x tends to one from both sides, left side, right side. Okay. This is the example in which we have seen limit of a function exists. Now let us take one another type of example. and we will see whether the limit exists or not let us go with the second example discuss the limit of a function as x tends to 3 where the function f of x they have given it is x square plus x plus 1 x square plus x plus 1 when x lies between 2 to 3 and when x is greater than 3 less than equals to 4 function is 2x plus 1 see first of all before going to the solution first of all understand how this function is defined this is my real line this is 1 2 3 4 4 okay when x takes the value from 2 to 3 3 is also included 2 is also included whenever x taking the values from 2 to 3 what is our function function is defined like this x square plus x plus 1 Whenever x is lies between two to three, value f of x must be like this. And whenever x is greater than three, less than equals to four. Whenever x takes the value which are greater than three and equals to four, and here function is defined like this, two x plus one. Now see for this interval, no problem. Function is defined for each and every point. For this interval, no problem. Function is defined for each and every point. Now it simply we have to Check the limit of a function as x tends to three. Means x is very very close to three but not equals to three. What is the method? To check, find out left hand limit, find out right hand limit. Check whether they are equal or not. If they are equal, we say that limit exists as x tends to three. If they are not equal, we say that limit does not exist as x tends to three. Okay. Now find out left hand limit left hand limit we are taking the values of x which are less than 3 therefore what we obtain limit x tends to 3 minus f of x which is equals to limit x tends to 3 minus what is f of x whenever x taking the value less than 3 f of x is like this x square plus x plus one substitute x equals to three here what we obtain nine three square nine plus three plus one it is thirteen again calculate right hand limit limit x right hand limit we are calculating when x is greater than three. X tends to three plus means we are taking the values of x which are greater than three. And when x is greater than three, 
What is my nature of function? It is this 2x plus 1. Therefore, f of x, we can write it as 2x plus 1. Substitute x is 3 here. 3 into 2 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 7. Now, observe these two values. Obviously, both are not same. Both are distinct. Therefore, we say that limit of a function does not exist as x tends to 3. Therefore, what we have obtained here? Limit of f of x as x tends to 3 minus not equals to limit of f of x as x tends to 3 plus. Therefore, we say that therefore we say that limit of f of x x tends to 3 does not exist. Okay? We have seen two examples. In first example, limit of function exists. In the second example, Limit of function does not exist. Now let us go with one, one more example. In this example we will check how to find epsilon and delta. And then we will stop. Let us go with one more example. For a given epsilon greater than 0. For a given epsilon greater than 0, find delta greater than 0. For a given epsilon greater than 0, we have to find delta greater than 0. Such that mod of f of x minus l less than epsilon. Mod of f of x minus l less than epsilon implies that mod of x minus a less than delta. For the function for the function f of x is equals to what is f of x they have given this 4x plus 3 such that limit of f of x as x tends to 1 is equals to 7. See, this is a, some quite different example. In this, as pre, we have seen previous two examples, in the first example, limit of function exists. In the second example, limit of function does not exist. This is the third example in which, therefore, given, they have given one epsilon, which is positive, we have to just simply find out delta. Now, as, a, what is our original definition? Original definition is nothing but we are we are writing limit of f of x as x tends to a equals to n. Okay. Now here, what is my a? A is 1, compare this, n is 7. Okay. Given epsilon greater than 0, they have given epsilon which is positive. Now we have to find delta. This is our aim in this example. Find out delta which satisfies this condition. Consider this one. Mod of f of x minus l less than epsilon. Implies. Substitute value of f of x. 4x plus 3 minus l. L is what? L is 7 less than epsilon. Simplify. 4x plus 3 minus 7. 4x minus 4 less than epsilon. Taking 4 common. x minus 1 less than epsilon. As 4 is positive, we are taking outside of the modulus 4 times mod of x minus 1 less than epsilon. Divide both sides by 4, mod of x minus 1 strictly less than epsilon by 4. Okay, what is here? A, A is 1 means mod of x minus 1 less than delta. And delta is nothing but we can choose. Now we choose delta less than equals to epsilon by 4 such a that this holds means whenever mod of x minus a a is my 1 mod of x minus a less than delta and delta which is less than equals to epsilon by 4 we have found such a that or implies mod of f of x minus f of x is what 4x plus 3 or instead of 4x plus 3 we have done f of x Minus 
L. L is what? 7 less than epsilon. What it implies? As we have seen in the previous video, this implies definition of limit. Means limit of f of x. That is 4x plus 3. x tends to 1 into 7. Okay? This is the quite different example. In this example, we have found delta. And see, observe this. This delta depends on the epsilon. If we change epsilon, corresponding delta is going to vary. Okay? Now, 